thanks for dropping by today. So prices of retro computers have actually gone up in the past few years. Even faulty retro computers are getting expensive these days. This 464, which I bought as faulty a few years ago, was only £10. But similar items these days are ranging from £30 to £50. So what I have here is a, another faulty Amshed 464. And yes, it's seen better days. So how did this item cost me nothing? Let's start with a story. So last year I was looking for a project. Um, nothing in particular, but I did stumble across another Amstrad 464 on eBay. With only 24 hours to go, the bid was at £5. So I put in my maximum bid of £12.50 and I waited. The auction came to an end and I lost. Oh, oh well. But 24 hours later I received a message from the seller to say the original bidder, who was from Germany, wasn't able to buy it anymore. This is the important bit. This item was collection only, so obviously the guy from Germany wasn't able to collect it. I was happy to pay for the £12.50 and so was the seller. So that just left me to get into the car for a 60 mile trip to pick it up. But what I didn't tell you is that this item included a monitor and a TV modulator. So I picked it up, I gave him the money, and I travelled another 60 miles back home. But I can hear what you're saying already. £12.50? 120 mile round trip? Petrol costs? Well in terms of petrol costs, in total it cost me £20. So I'm down £32.50. But the thing is, I wasn't interested in the monitor. I already have two. Why do I need any more? And I wasn't interested in the TV modulator. Because I've got the monitors. So what did I do? I sold them. The items were in perfect condition, but once I gave them a quick clean up, they looked much better and I priced them accordingly. The first to go was the TV modulator. I sold it on Facebook Marketplace for £10. No seller fees. Within a week later, I sold the monitor for £25, again on Facebook Marketplace. No seller fees. So let's do the maths. I've got myself another Amstrad, plus I've made £2.50. Not too bad for a few hours of my time. And that's how I did it. So if you're looking for a bargain on eBay, check for listed items where it's collection only. If there's something near you, you never know. You might just be able to pick something up at a bargain price. So I'm going to start refurbishing this Amstrad, so watch out for the next video on that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.